I got the flu and it hurts to speak, so this reaction will be low energy, but I'm gonna try my best. Let's begin today's reaction. Look at all these cannon fodder, man. Look at all these cannon fodder. They're actually pretty all jacked. Damn, Tengen's toenails are also fucking colored. Look at all these cannon fodder training so hard just to die by demons without us ever knowing their names. You think Mitsuri's training would be that harsh? I can't imagine Mitsuri's training would be that hard. But then again, she is kind of a brute. Tengen low spanking them kids. Managed to survive somehow. It is actually crazy. Because, like, Daki going down, right? Daki and her brother going down. That was, like, the first time in, like, a, what, a century that an upper moon ever went down. And it was, like, a miraculous thing. It's like, oh, no fucking way. It actually happened. And then season four, it was like, oh, two of them are just gone immediately. And somehow we just survived. It's like, really? All right. All right. Sure. This is crazy. This Tanjiro kid, man. I think he's the main character. Oh, Tanjiro outpacing everybody. He's like smiling while doing this too. And he has a bucket of rocks. Truly the main character. My favorite wife of these three. Honestly, I'm not sure if I have a favorite. They're all just great. Maybe the one on the far left. Something about her hits harder. I don't know. The one in the middle is very like fiery and tomboyish. The one on the right somehow reminds me of the Miss Tashira. So I'm gonna go with the one on the very left. It must be actually so hard to eat so much after that much basic training. Mmm, feed it to me, Tengen vibes. <laughs> that kid actually looks traumatized. <laughs> so the med is trying to get on the night patrol, so you don't gotta do morning training. What is he thinking when he sees these kids, you know, talk shit like this? Is Tengen just straight up disappointed and he's like, you know what? These kids, they gonna die for sure. You know what? I don't even feel bad for you kids. I don't think he has much faith in them, man. Talk. Did Uzui activate Demon Slayer Mark? I don't think he did. Did he? Tanjiro activated during the fight with Daki, but Tengen, I don't think he did. He didn't, right? I expect him to fight in the actual, like, next arc later, too. And honestly, I think we're fucking wasting time training these fucking cannon fodder, man. What we should be doing is get Tanjiro to get involved with the different Hashiras and even for Tengen to like activate them in like the Demon Slayer mark. And then like, I, I, I don't know, it, I, I would expect, you know, Tengen to like go back into fighting even though he's like retired right now. But like, it would be good for us to activate his Demon Slayer mark too. Fuck. I think we got it all the way fucking backwards, bro. You should be trained the Hashiras to get the mark. That's the most efficient way. Okay, these two are gonna die. <laughs> Why would you say that? Why would you say that during the fucking night patrol? Well, they're probably gonna get attacked by demons and then get saved by somebody or they'll die. I don't know. I either two, right? Do we know of any demons that's coming for us right now? I don't think so. Morning, <laughs> oh, he's dead. <laughs> we turned it on one second. <laughs> now, what do I always say? What do I always about the first wave of jump scares, right? First time is a bait. The second is when you have your guard down, you're thinking, oh, thank God, it's fine now. And then that's where they get you. So get your guard up right now. <laughs> <laughs> Ready perfectly. It always happens like that. Every fucking horror scene, bro. They always do that. It's the textbook fucking one-two combo. It's the first time to get the audiences and you know hyping the guard up. Then you put it down by some comedic relief. Then they get you again. 
Something was scuttling though behind the scenes. Akasa. Akasa. Team rank four. No. Four four is Akasa, right? Four is Akasa? Four is no 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 four four wait 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 four 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 no 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 I I I I I got three, I got three, I got three and 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 then the kid that kid kills women too and then Koko we shoot one four 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 what the how the how the fuck is four here right now I thought we killed him last season what the fuck it's an eyeball wait 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 upper five and four last season we took him out right we did we totally did why is four here right now. How does that make sense? Did he not die? Am I crazy? Han Tengu went down. The pot guy went down. What? Well, this makes it a little spicy. And even when everyone's resting, Time Zero is the one that's still exercising. Pot is four? So Han Tengu, four. He's still here. How did he survive? Different part of him got away? Was there any part? Because didn't we like make sure to like just fully kill four at the end and then Nesco went Ohio? Maybe I was wrong. I mean, he clearly did get away if number four is here. Mm, a lot of sound effects. You think Tanjiro's crazy? What about Inosuke? Take a laugh? Come on, man. Come on, man. Is all this cardio actually gonna, you know, help them live against the demon slayer? Demons? Who knows? So he's like a nice teacher. We, I had like a teacher like that. Little quick little um life story. Just like a random story. I had a teacher like this. Basically, imagine this. This dude was from Hong Kong, I think, and he had the thickest Kanto accent. He'd be like, "Hi ya, what is that logic?" He would always roast kids whenever they fucked up in their assignments. But like everyone loved him because he was like a hard ass that like you know, like a typical Asian dad or teacher kind of thing. But all the white kids, they hated him because the culture difference. Because he just straight up roasted you. You get something wrong, it's like, what are you doing? <laughs> you should quit. He would say shit like that. And there was this one kid named Kelvin. Holy fuck, he was bad. But at least he tried his best. And then the teacher, Albert, he would just roast him entire time. It's like, what are you doing? Wasting your money at the school. You should just quit. And I'm like, oh my god. But he would stay after hours beyond school during those extra times and make sure all the kids that needed help would, you know, get the help while he's roasting them. So it's like the same thing here where it's just like Tengen is like super like mean, but actually he does care a lot. <laughs> a quick spin back to the mountain. That height difference is crazy. I just realized. Holy shit, dude. Tengen is so much taller. Soba eating contest. Who won this? Do we know who won this, actually? Last episode, did they show us? He's already down to join. <laughs> I've never had Soba like this. This actually looks so good. And then I'll join. I will be happy to eat. <laughs> Look at him on the left. <laughs> the noodle eating animation is so fucking crisp, man. Oh, Sanami. I want to see Sanami and Genya. <laughs> like, let's get serious.
hilarious. Other than Tanjiro's main group, right? Other than the main character, like the group, you really expect these random NPCs to help you against the upper ranks? Like, ain't no way. No one actually thinks that, right? That's why I think it's such a waste of time investing so much training for them, bro. <laughs> Hmm? So they don't even know what this like castle is? I don't even really know what this castle is either. The first time I saw this was in the beginning of season 4, right? Yeah, it was. Well, season 3. Are we on season 4 right now? Season 2? Season th I I'm fucking, I'm getting so confused. We're, this is season 4 right now, this is season 4. In season 3 content, like, the castle was like, whoa, where Muzan is having all their fucking, you know, meetings and stuff with the upper ranks. But it almost looks like, and then there's like a lot of different demons like lives here. So it's the castle is almost like the demon's domain or something, right? They all like live there. Maybe the important ones anyways. That's the one! This is the hideout! なにも見つからなかった。ちょうどその頃、やはり狙いは鎌戸の妹か。それで間違い。何が始まろうが、俺が全部を。やったら。やったら。やったら。やったら。やったら。やったら。やったら。やったら。やったら。やったら。やったら
Bro, use your nose. That nose GPS, bro. Or just get bailed out by the moonlight. He's not wrong. He is not wrong. Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, if it was an upper rank, you tell me if this was not fucking Akaza or fucking, you know, Kokushibo, like what? You are, am I actually gonna second beat you? Hell no. If I'm this fucking NPC foot soldier, bro, I'd be like, yeah, ain't no fucking way. Alright, Tanjiro and three NPCs versus Tengen Uzui. Oh, there's more! Ooh. His arm's not injured, right? His arm is cut? <laughs> that's, that's the fucking problem with that watching Demon Slayer such a fucking long time. All the fucking injuries, I forget. Gyutaro pretty much did cut that shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. His, his armor's gone. That's why he's only fucking using one hand. Okay, okay. True leader Tanjiro is, man. Raising everyone else around them. They're probably all still gonna lose. Bro, you goddamn Hashira X. Like, that is kind of loser mentality, but at the same time, random foot soldiers being trained to fight against the Hashira and later in the like, upper ranks. Like, I don't blame them at all. Okay. All the foot soldiers. I hope that these kids actually have a role in like the future arcs and they don't just go away and they're like just gone in the important moments of the end game when we're fighting the upper ranks. They have a role to play and you know protect the citizens like that, right? <laughs> That's all thanks to Tanjiro. Tanjiro straight up showed up and just like fixed up, you know, Tengen's entire squad and left. Bro, this is all Tanjiro's work, not Tengen, man. Mm. Dude, the tree animations. Holy fuck, you foldable. There's a lot of emphasis and promises from Tanjiro, man. Like, straight up just from Tanjiro saying, I will be the one to take Muzan down, which gets me pretty hopeful. But, like, we gotta take that Kokushibo first, bro. Forget Muzan. We still have, like, three Hashiras. Actually, not even three Hashiras. We have, like, three upper ranks, plus potentially Gyutaro, who... Not, not Gyutaro, Hantengu, that might have escaped. Hantengu's eyes around here. There's, like, a three and a half upper moons left. <laughs> Will they? Yeah, I think I like the leftmost wife the best. So, is the rest of the episodes just going to each Hashira and just training? Damn, that crow animation. Who is this? Shinobus? Oh, let's go. He's not wrong. Alright. He loves hunting for hot springs? That's it? In order, which one do you love the most? And that is today's episode of Demon Slayer. And I mean, it's a training arc. What are you expecting other than training? In terms of plot relevant stuff. I guess the most important thing is how Hantengu, sorry. Uh, yeah, Hantengu, right? Hantengu seems to be back. The mark of four right here, that was like an eyeball, right? But how is it possible that Hantengu survived when last, ep last season we made sure to kill him, right? The only reason M Mitsuri was able to, you know, live was because we killed Hantengu just in time. I don't really understand how Hantengu is alive in this partial eye form, but hey. He's still here. So right now we have 
three and a half upper moons left and Muzan to take care of. The rest of it was basically kind of training and I guess some of the important thing was Sanami and then Mr. Hebi here hyping up the infinite castle arc. Um, kind of rekindling Uzui Tengen's motivations to go back into battle and come out of retirement to help out. And, t you know, I, I, I guess uh, a little bit of... I, I, that's pretty much it, right? That's pretty much it. It's, it's just training, training, and training. I, I can see why a lot of people might be a little bit kind of disappointed with the amount of uh, lack of content that they're kind of accustomed to from Demon Slayer. But, I mean, it is a training training arc. And, like, there's only, like, what, eight episodes? And then we're going to wrap it up and then actually get to the real stuff. So that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't do this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.